You're a spy, Sharp. I am a soldier. You're a spy, Sharp. Wellington himself faked your execution. The Spanish army will be most interested to hear this. Why did you go such length to rescue the Marquesa? It was her birthday. I'd made her a cake. Oh! You broke my spectacles, Sean. Deliberately. This is a very fine instrument. From Wellington himself. A thousand of these at Santa Maria. There's five of us. Good odds, eh? What do you think? Sounds good to me, Sarge. Dress bloody bomb. Uniform, that's not there. Would you believe me if I said I don't wish you dead? No. It's true. You can live. You can walk out of here with your sword. We won't exchange you, of course. You will spend the rest of the war in France. We might even civilize you. But then it's your choice. Now, tell me, Sharp. Did the Marquess a sick for British help? You bone-headed sharp, like all soldiers. She put you where you are, and you will not answer the question? You put me where I am. <laughs> I arranged the duel, but you don't know why. Since you persist in dying, I will tell you. King Ferdinand of Spain will sign a treaty with us, which will mean the British will be routed. It has the support of the church and of the noblemen of Spain. And all because you wanted to fight a duel. You're a fool, Sharp. I counted on you being a fool. Oh.
Sergeant Harper. Sure, I've no quarrel with a fellow Irishman. Good soldier always looks after his weapon, boy. This one, this one's for me. Bastard. Lucy. Benedict. Lucy, my dear, they have not harmed you. Permission to speak, sir. What is it, Harper? Would you take an order from me, sir? Well, what is it? Would you, for the love of Jesus, stand easy, sir? Well, it's easy for you to say, stand easy, Harper. Tell him. Just tell him the truth, sir. Tell him that Simerson caught and run. You expect Wellington to take my word against the word of a senior officer like Simerson? Look. I... I have come to offer you my support, Mr. Sharp. If that is worth anything to you. Thank you. Harper, would you escort the Countess inside? Happy to, sir. Sir, what are you going to do? I'll do what I always do. I'll stand and fight. Continue, Sir Henry. Well, sir, on first sighting the French, I naturally gave the order to advance. That's my style, sir. The South Essex crossed over the bridge and engaged the enemy. Major Lennox panicked. So then I fell back in good order and destroyed the bridge, sir. Mm -hmm. 
I have written to Horsguard, sir, to state that the South Essex acquitted itself most commendably in discharging both your general orders to engage the enemy and your particular order to destroy the Britzer. <clears throat> Did any officer distinguish himself? Lieutenant Gibbons led the advance, sir. You may say that he is uh, tied to me by blood. But is it a tie of blood to tie my tongue and rob a brave man of his just reward? No, sir. I recommend Lieutenant Gibbons be gazetted captain, sir. And Lieutenant Sharp? Lieutenant Sharp didn't, sir. He was cut off when we destroyed the bridge. This is a report from Major Hogan, which differs somewhat from your account, Sir Henry. Major Hogan is merely an engineer, sir. Major Hogan's coat buttons up tight over a number of other duties, Sir Henry. Major Hogan reports a number of losses, Sir Henry. He says you first lost your head, and instead of destroying the bridge, you marched over it. He says you then lost your nerve and ran from a small French patrol. He says you lost ten men, a major, and two sergeants. He says you finally lost your sense of honor and destroyed the bridge, cutting off a rescue party led by Lieutenant Sharp. Major Hogan leaves the worst to the last. He says you lost the king's colors. The fault was not mine, sir. Major Lennox must answer. Major Lennox answer with his life, as you should have done if you had any sense of honor. You lost the colors of the king of England. You disgraced us, sir. You shamed us, sir. You will answer. The South Essex is stood down in name. If I wipe the name, I may wipe the shame. I am making you a battalion of detachments you will fetch and carry. The light company put up a fight, so I will let it stand under the command of a new captain. To be commanded by the newly gazetted Captain Gibbons? To be commanded by the newly gazetted Captain Sharp, sir. I have a cousin at Horse Guard, sir. And I have friends at court. A man who loses the king's colors loses the king's friendship. You have two choices. To hide in England or be a hero in Spain. I shall help you to be a hero. And you will hand in your precious rifle guns and draw proper muskets to go along with being proper dressed. Fit for soldiers at last. Never thought you'd see it, did you, Mother? You hate me, don't you? Well, I hate you. I do, I do, I do. I hate them. Who said that? I heard that. Mad. Oh, no. I ain't mad. Not so as I don't know. Now, come, hop smartly to attention when I order you. Company! Ten! Son! High's in the back of my head, sir. I do believe so. Is that where they are? They swivel, so. Stand the men at their east, Sergeant. Come on, turn! Up! Eight! That rifle's loaded and rammed, Sergeant. Sir! Did you know, Sergeant? Me, sir? No, sir, never, sir. This yours, Sergeant? No, sir. Not me, sir. Him, sir. Private Arpel, sir. Well, how many more are loaded? Harris, sir. Cooper. Sir. Hagman.
Perkins. Sir. They say you can't be killed, Sergeant Hakeswell. What is known? Come with me, me lads, for I cannot die. I'm going to live forever. But well, they tried to hang me once, but did not do it. I could almost believe it. Except in the case of someone you tried to kill, Sergeant Hakeswell. And did not do it. I wonder who that might be, Sergeant. You're a dead man, Obadiah. Bang! <laughs> Harper? I promise you that you'll get your jackets back. Your rifles back. And me back.